Okay, here we're going to look at the list and list node classes, uh, and this is going to help us practice using Java to model things. And I'll also introduce the idea of private inner classes. And I just want to draw your attention to the fact that these are going to be in one file. Okay, so the first thing for you to do is to try to uh, draw and identify what classes must exist and what are the instance variables within each of those objects. And I want you to pause the video to do that. This is a really important skill, so really test yourself and see if you can figure out how to create these classes. Okay, so hopefully you've paused and now I'll talk you through that. Okay, so looking at those memory models, we can see that we have list objects. So I've made a class, public class list, and I can see inside that memory model that I have two instance variables. One, the variable name is my head, and the other one, the variable name is my size. And I haven't given these types yet. We see in an example that my size is three and that that number is written inside the box. And since it's inside the box, that must mean it's a primitive, uh, and so we'll start my size as an int. So to figure out what type my head is, we can see that it can reference something of type list node. So we're going to make my head something of type list node. Now this doesn't compile yet because like what is list node? That's not a type that we've defined. And actually this type or this class list node only matters within the list class. We want people outside the list class to be able to think about adding an element to a list or removing or sorting a list or something like that, but we don't want them to have to think about the fact that internally we have an additional class called list node that actually stores the data for us. To accomplish this, we're actually going to have a private inner class called list node. And here I wrote that class and I made it just inside of the existing list class. So that bottom curly brace, that closes the list class. And inside my memory model for list nodes, I see I also have two variables, two instance variables, that is. And it looks like one of them holds a string, and that's my data. And the other one holds a my, well, it's my next. And we can see what type of thing my next reference is, and we can see that it's just another list node. And being able to translate from these memory models to what the actual instance variables and classes would look like is super important. You wouldn't have been able to predict that I was going to put the list node class inside of the list class, but what the actual instance variables are named and trying to figure out what types they might be and knowing that you need to figure out what types they need to be, that is a super important skill. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to make all of my instance variables private. What that means is that no one's going to be able to access these instance variables outside of the class. Within this file, within list.java, I can access them and see them and modify them and all that jazz, but outside of the list class, no one's going to know about my internal representation of list nodes or the size or any of that.